I have another Bible. Another King James Version. The sixth major revision. Another one here, also red letter, printed by the same Nelson Press, same printers. Red letter Bible, you open it, chapter 18, verse 9, it is in black. It's in black. What happened? Look, they changed it. Red to black. Yeah. Because they saw, they saw that this is a contradiction. So to rectify the norm, but they are still in inverted powers. Who spoke the words? So he says, no, you see the difference is only one. I said, you know in a court of law, if you testify like that, you say on one occasion one, another occasion you say none, you can be charged for perjury, bearing false witness, you know that? So now Jesus is in, is in the box. Either Jesus, you put him in the box, ask him, did you say one or none? Oh, it was not Jesus. Jesus said, look, I knew nothing about that. Then you put John in the box. Hey, you wrote in chapter 17, 1, and in chapter 18 you said, man, how did you get that? But G G John is supposed to be inside that Holy Ghost. Who is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Spirit. Who is God? So, now God is in the box. We put him in the box. Excuse me, sir, did you say in chapter 17, 1, and in chapter 18 you said, man, did you? You know the difference in the meaning between one and none? Ask God. Look, we say, this is not the word of God. Can't you see? This is not the word of God. We are telling you. But he says, the only difference is what? Say, time is running out pretty fast. The Quran gives us a quality control. He says the Quran is here to confirm what is right, what is true in the previous revelation, and wa muhayminan and it is a guarding in safety, a protection of the previous revelation. Now let's see what it does. You see, in the book of God, the Bible, in the book of Exodus, we are told, we are told, that Moses wants to see God, and God tells him, no man can see me and live. But he's insistent, he's in the book of Lord, I love you, I must see you. So I'll do a favor, I'll put you between two rocks. And he puts his hand in the opening, God's hand, he puts in the opening. Then he turns his back, and he takes away his hand. So Moses saw the back of God. He saw his back. He says, because my face can't be seen. You mustn't see my face. But the same book tells us that Jacob saw the face of God. Genesis chapter 32 verse 30, it says, And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face. Then, in Exodus chapter 33 verse 11, the same book where God says, no man can see me and live. Now he says, so the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend, not showing his back. Now we want to know which is the word of God. Did Moses see him or he only saw his backside? What is it? Why would God show his face? The face, the human face, you know this. Forget for a moment, forget it now, whether this is the book of God or not, forget it. Just on the human level, same sober level. God says in the Holy Quran, in the Bible we are told that God created the heavens and the earth in six days, and on the seventh day He rested, and was refreshed, and was refreshed, meaning after a tired, hard six days work, He needed rest and He had to be refreshed. The Quran says, وَلَكَدْ خَلَقْنَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ يَعْمِنْ We have created the heavens and the earth and everything in between in six days. وَمَا مَسَّنَا بِالْلُّهُ And we found no weariness, no tiredness, no fatigue in our creation. Now, take your choice. I 
like that the God of the Bible, who needs rest after six days and has to be refreshed, or the one who says, he feels no fatigue in guiding and creating his creation. Then, the doctor had made very much in the last debate about God eating. He says, you know, we are denying him the right, the pleasure of eating. You know, those three angels that came to Abraham, and Abraham prepared the table, and had the calf and cakes, barley cakes, and he set them before them, and they act, says the Bible. They act. God Almighty, he act. Fat a calf, and the angels, they act. Read it in the Quran, similar story about the angels visiting Abraham, and they say, the angels of the Lord, they don't eat. This food, you broil fish and honeycomb, is not the food of God, nor of the angels. Take your choice, the Quran or the Bible. God, not omnipotent, this is the last one. But looking at them, Jesus said, Mark chapter 10 verse 27, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. We accept. With God all things are possible. But in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 19, I end with this. It says, So the Lord was with Judah, God, God Almighty was with Judah. And they drove out the inhabitants of the mountains. Judah and God, they together they drove out the inhabitants of the mountains. But they could not drive out the inhabitants of the lowland. Because they had chariots of iron, they had tanks, armored cars, those of the day. So God Almighty, He couldn't prevail. The Quran says, Lima He is the doer of all He intends. Take your choice, the Quran or the Bible.